during my secondary school days, that was the age of the space race. You know, every year, every day you heard about, oh, satellite launching, uh, you know, men orbiting the Earth, and, and so on. And that was really exciting. So uh, I think at that time, my young mind was really impressed because science is about knowledge. Engineering is to put knowledge to work. I've been with NUS since April 1979 at the Faculty of Engineering. Engineering uh, started off with civil engineering only in, in the campus in Pukitima. And then, of course, the faculty then moved to KL and eventually uh, Singapore re-established engineering faculty. The school aims to be a top uh, research-intensive university, making impact through our research as well as the graduates that we train. What we aim to do is really to train leaders with deep technical skills and the ability to create a lot of impact in society. This school has 10 programs at the undergraduate level. And then of course, we also have graduate programs, both at the master's as well as the PhD level. NUS is very well endowed with all the state-of-the-art facilities and all our faculty members get a considerable amount of research funding to allow us to build up all these facilities that are necessary not only for our research but also for our education. Like in the civil engineering department, we have the hydraulics lab, we have the um, geotechnical lab and so we also have the transportation lab and all this they have the necessary machineries for you to do the experiment and to get exposure of the knowledge you are learning. We hire the best faculty members from all over the world. In fact, every one of our faculty members comes from a top engineering school. I found it uh, you know, just the right fit. You contribute to knowledge in this area and then you also disseminate your knowledge, your expertise to students. You're not just doing something for yourself, but let the younger people share your knowledge, share your excitement about the subject. The Faculty of Engineering in NUS, they are very warm and approachable. So if you have any problems, it is nice to know that the faculty is there to help you. We have moved from a teaching where we pass on a lot of facts to today where our students are actually challenged in terms of innovative design and that sort of activities which is going beyond just the classroom lessons. Nowadays, engineers also have to be entrepreneurs. They also must communicate to people in various sectors of society. So it's not just technical expertise. That is why these are NUS, overseas colleges, those are good. They allow our students to experience the culture, the ways things are done in Silicon Valley, in Sweden and so on. And this really helps. The best thing about NUS is it works very closely to industries, all kinds of industries. In that sense, like you get the exposure to the industry and while you learn those technical abilities, those theories, you also get to see how it is applied in your everyday life. When this faculty was first established, the stress is on competence, train competent engineers. But now we want another C and that's competitiveness. Our engineers should be able to offer our expertise and knowledge even beyond Singapore. And research-wise, our research results are always judged by world standards, not by local standards. NUS has really been instrumental in producing many, many leaders in both the industry as well as public sector in Singapore. Today, uh, we come up with a lot of new technologies in the medical technology area, for example. The new paradigm is really how do we use technology to diagnose and to treat uh, diseases and so on. So this will all be very impactful and will all lead to better caring of our society. And so you can see that the areas that are covered by engineering today is very diverse. And in this school, we almost cover every area of engineering. So if you want to make an impact in the world, you want to do research that you think can benefit the society, NUS is definitely the place you want to go.